tree this evening. Got uh, held up a little bit coming home on my bus run. And I planned on going down here and fixing my driveway on Rock House. And it gets so dark in the evenings. You ain't got much time to do nothing. Had to hook my trailer up, load the tractor, get back there, get everything ready. So, uh, We shall roll on down and see if we can get the driveway fixed. I'm going to take the farm track and the rear blade. The battery was dead on it. And I didn't want to take time to boost it off. So. I just grabbed the Kubota. I'm going to do it in the bucket. Should be able to do a pretty good job. If I can change gears and uh, in my truck here, having trouble. But anyways, I'm gonna get off here and I'll catch back with you. I can't park down here where I'm going, um, but one of my students I have in class, his family owns a house down here at the bottom of the hill, and I asked permission to. Uh, from him, if, ask him if he'd be okay if I pulled in there to unload and just tram on out to where the driveway's at. It's just a short distance. And uh, he said that'd be okay. So we'll pull in down here in just a second or two and get unloaded. Tell you if this old truck had an engine brake, sure would be nice on these hills like this.
miss the driveway. Slid off just a little bit there one time. Ain't no way to fix it much. Well, we got it graded pretty good. I'm gonna go back over it get in and uh, call it quits. Really needs a little bit of crusher run and gravel put on it eventually. It's always good to go back over stuff like this and run over it with the tractor get everything settled good across the driveway before you leave it if it's on a hill. Well, I made it home like I never got back in the driveway, which I have a hard enough time anyways getting back in the driveway, but it's even worse in the dark. Um, but I don't know if I'll add more to this video or if I'll end it here, but if I end it here, uh, y'all will please give the video a thumbs up, comment, uh, thanks for watching, and um, We'll catch you on the next one. much uh, battery left I was gonna shoot this little video real quick so uh, hopefully I can get it done for the camera dies um, we've been gone doing some Christmas shopping stuff and I found a light while we was out I'm gonna try um, it's a Honeywell LED ultra bright garage light uh, it's got these little LED um, lights for them and then you can angle and adjust them uh, screws into a regular light socket when we built this shop uh, We initially just put four lights right down the middle four like regular incandescent lights um, You can tell it's pretty dim and things in here. I later came back And added these uh, four foot LEDs which As you can tell makes a huge difference huge difference um but i've got these two up here crossways in the shop and i got one on the wall back there and things but still sometimes depending on what i've got in here working on um it's kind of dim back here in this backer back backer part back part of the shop uh so i'm going to use that light and either put in this light socket or that one i haven't decided yet um but we'll get that changed out it also comes down with a little drop down extension uh if you need it but we'll get this thing unboxed and check it out all right it comes with this little extension um that comes out that's a full length and that's retracted i'm probably going to use this that way i can drop it down um below the beam on my trusses and then it's just got a little set screw you can put back in place then that will screw onto the light of course y'all can figure this stuff out i usually don't do review videos or anything but uh, this is something i figured some of you might like if it works out good this is aluminum i assume that would be plastic here where the lights mount to but that's aluminum and you can see you can angle these in different directions and i'm hoping to get some light shined over towards the walls uh it's kind of what i got in mind i thought it had four of those looking at in the box but there are three but we'll get put up there and adjust on it a little bit and see uh see how it, how it looks i've decided to change this bulb back here out i've got them turned off at the moment uh I first, I think, saw this style light. I think Ritter bit will do, John Ritter. I believe he had put some of this, these in. Don't 
know that it's the same brand. I don't believe it is. But um, in his garage at home, and he talked about how much they help. So we'll, uh, I want to angle them out some. We may have to come back up here and adjust it. That definitely makes it brighter. Back here in the corners especially. I don't know if you all can tell it. Of course, you can shine them down. I believe shining them out is my best option for what I'm wanting to achieve. Because I still got good light shining down from this light and these shining out towards the wall kind of takes the shadows out. What well, I thought If I like them, oh yeah, that's definitely, definitely a big improvement. Let's turn these other lights off and look at it now. Yeah. Look how it's kind of shining against the walls and things and got it lit up more and back here it's still pretty dim in this part of the shop that still wouldn't be good enough um on its own i like those four foot lights better but since i already had those that style of light socket in uh, i thought i'd add at least one of those i think i'll probably get uh maybe one more if not all four and replace them but if you want some really good led shop lights these four foot lights mr came from rule king uh you can't beat them things they're incredible but i do like that light that's, that's, that definitely makes a difference i want to get some more of those it says they last uh supposed to last 45 years so that should last me a few days got a five-year warranty consume six dollars and 38 cents a year estimated energy cost of course that depends on how much you use them uh, i don't know if that's based three hour that's based on three hours of use a day uh so May end up getting me some more of those next time we're out. I got that at Lowe's, I believe. But um, just thought I'd share that with you. See if it's, you know, might be something y'all would be interested in in your garage or, or shop or something to uh, just kind of replace the incandescent bulbs if you got them. But um, appreciate you watching. Don't do many review videos like this. If you, you know, if you like them, let me know. If you don't like them, let me know. Uh, whether you liked them or not, give me a thumbs up. And I uh, really appreciate y'all watching. Hope you're having a good day. Remember the people that was affected by the tornadoes uh, today. Um, I think today's December, what, 11th? Yeah, December 11th. Remember all those people that's affected by the storms and things. They've got a long road ahead of them, and I hate for anything like that to happen around the holidays um can't imagine what they're feeling and going through right now if you've ever been through something like that you can sympathize with them or been through a house fire or something um you know you kind of know where they're coming from and how they're feeling but uh pray for those people and remember them but we'll talk to you later